There's a huge police presence over here. I don't know what's going on. What the heck? Can you try to go over here? They're just blocking the road right there. Yeah, got freaking guns and everything. Holy cow. Looks like there was a SWAT team over there. Alright, this has got to be on the news. Something major just happened. Police are clearing the roads. So we can go by, to go through. Uh, there's still cops kind of down the streets. I think where I seen the SWAT team, or maybe I already passed it. I think it was like down here. It was like down here. Look at that SWAT team. Look at that news cam. Here, let's uh, let's go over to where these people are. So I know somebody that lives in these apartments, and this is what he posted on Facebook. Picture and then it's like, oh, BSP all over. So we don't want to do that. Like, oh my god, look at Tony's picture. And then it's like, oh, BSP all over. Uh, how you doing, bro? Good, how you doing? Uh, well, he was on the third floor. Weird day. Yeah? I wasn't expecting this. I was just driving through going to work. And then I was like, there's. I, I just That's saw. Already, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, I always got it on me all the time. Smart man. Yeah. yeah. Smart I use it for work and others, like small things. And then, oh, so, and then stuff like this, I'm like, yeah, man. Whip it right out. Yeah. yeah. I got a call about E45. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's been going it's on. It's been going on for a couple yeah. hours. Or at least let people go through now. You guys with the new station? 13. 13? Oh, yeah. okay. Nice. Greg. Jeremy. Nice to meet you, brother. Oh, it was nice to meet you. I'm gonna head out here. Oh, nice to meet you too, yeah, man. Yeah. We'll see you around town. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm around. I, every time I see something going on, I like to take a peek and see what's going well, on. Well, hey, man. Let me uh, let me give you a card. Yeah, you got a card. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're we're based here in Melbourne, so you can text me whenever you see something. Man. Okay. I like people who are curious but respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like and to keep my what, distance. That's why it's like I don't want to be it in sound, the way it involved. Like you're, 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 you're wanting to know what's going on, but you're yeah, yeah. respectful about it. And if there's anything I can do to help out, yeah, you know, I'm here. Yeah, see something, man. But, uh, that, my cell's up there in the mobile. Okay. You just text me, man. All right, yeah. And uh, once you text me, I'll store your number and all that stuff. And just, uh, yeah, if you see something or whatever, and, and, or maybe you don't know what's going on, I make just need to find out what's happening. Yeah, okay. okay. Greg Pallone joining us live tonight from outside the complex here and again things turning very tense and also deadly at one point greg 
Yeah, unfortunately, that uh, is the case, uh, Greg. And uh, police have not yet released the name of the man who was shot and killed uh, by officers uh, this morning at this apartment complex. FDLE is now investigating this police-involved shooting. Police tell us this man began firing at officers as soon as they arrived on scene. Frightening moments for them and nearby businesses whose employees were told to stay inside and stay down. This could have been an absolutely deadly situation, not only for the police officers who responded to the scene, but for all the people living here who could have been caught in the crossfire when several gunshots rang out earlier this morning. Now here on scene at the apartment complex, hours later, it is still extremely active. Melbourne police did just remove the crime scene tape behind me, but I want to pan up right now. I want you to see where exactly the shootout happened. It happened on the third floor near the stairs. That's where this suspect was killed. And if you fire at a police officer, we're going to respond. And the, res the response you're going to get, you're probably not going to like. And they are still working to find out any kind of motive as to why this person was targeting police officers. The one detail I still do not have for you tonight is the identity of the person who was killed. The police department says they are still working to connect with that person's family. We will make sure to bring you the breaking new details of their identity as soon as we learn it.